And that's exactly what we want to foster here today, the chance for so many young people to see their role models here today, their champions, and for us to be able to have a chance to acknowledge that together and in public. We were not going to let you away with just sneaking back into Aotearoa and not having a moment where we can say that you're incredible, that your performance was incredible, but much more than that, You've been on a journey that has had highs and lows, and you came out on top. And for that, you have all of the admiration of Kiwis here today and Kiwis generally. So thank you. Of course, there was a lot riding on this World Cup. We hadn't won in 16 years, so there was a little bit of pressure on you all. And not only that, we hadn't won in 16 years, but we've only also won five times uh, across uh, the netball um, world champs. So this was an incredible moment for our Silver Ferns. And look at that performance. And I asked them when I had a little chance just before, I asked them to tell me how they coped with stress and everyone's expectations on them. They had some beautiful answers, which I won't go into now. <laughs> But I'd like to think that probably behind it all, their family mattered, their fans mattered, and that's why they're giving their time to all of you today to say thank you for, I'm sure, the support that they were given as well. You have been thrilling to watch. Uh, and now New Zealand not only holds this World Cup, but also the Youth World Cup as well. And to the Silver Ferns, I want to just finish by saying, you are growing a generation of netball players. And not only that, you're growing a generation of sportswomen and girls, and that is so important to us as a nation. Thank you for being the advocates and role models that you are. Thank you for letting us recognize you, and welcome home. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Uh, kia ora koutou. Uh Look, it's really amazing that people have turned up. Um, quite honoured um, and so much respect and love for our country. Uh, first of all, if I can acknowledge um, Prime Minister um, of our country, Jacinda Ardern, thank you very much for hosting us. It is a massive privilege um, for us as a team, and we're the first uh, netball team that has graced your office. Um, and it's something that we don't take lightly, so thank you very much for having us. And we were up with um, the Prime Minister, and she did speak to us about uh, parity. Um, she did speak to us about women in sport, um, and our, I suppose, our job or our um, focus as well as to what we can do for the greater good. Uh, when we did take the finals, it was definitely about the scoreboard and it was definitely about the gold medal, but at the end it was also about us representing New Zealand with pride. Um, we were so immensely proud of what we were able to achieve over there, but as I mentioned, four years between drinks is when we're going to hit the next Worlds in 2023. Um, so, like these kids that are here, and it's so great for everybody to be here, um, hopefully that we can provide a pathway for not only young girls, but also boys to want to play netball, to play sport in the community. So, here standing ahead of you, or in front of you, are world champs. Um, it's, it has definitely been a long time, but also we acknowledge those ones who have been there before and the, and the brand of Netball New Zealand and Silver Ferns. Um, can I thank you for everybody who has turned up? It's, uh, we stand here with immense pride um, and uh, um, just love you all. Thank you very much.